What's up everybody? Welcome back to Malabar Toy where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to make a little completion. Throughout the years I have put to the test a couple of gadgets with laces and I did a couple of experiments and life hacks with laces. So it should be a pretty cool one. Let's check this out. How to get out from the zip ties with your shoelaces. Let's check this out. So they put zip tied in front of your hands. You cannot get out. So there is another way to get it out. And if you're not too strong enough to break it or the zip ties are much, much thicker. So you cannot open it. What you can do is undo your shoes and then put your shoe on the back like that. So that way shoelace hanging right here. So that way you can put it inside and grab it too. Boom. And then simply what you're going to do is make a knot over here. And now the cool part. All you have to do is just rub it on this plastic thing back and forth and boom, it breaks off. Wow, how amazing is that? As you can see, my finger pretty stuck over here, doesn't come off. So how can we take it off without cutting it? All we need is elastic band like that and you can grab it from the mask or stuff like that. You know, a lot of places have those ones, especially in the emergency room and stuff. What you're gonna do is hold it like that. If you don't have assistance, you, you can do it yourself and just kind of make it tight and little by little go up to the ring. So little by little you see how skin getting pushed down and then after you wrapped up the finger what you want to do is grab the scissors and push through the the, uh, the ring, under the ring and just like pull it up And what's gonna happen, once we're gonna unbend it, you see how skin stuck here, but the ring is like twig, like you see twitches and going down, and the rubber band holding the skin all together and tight, so you can take off the ring really easily. Flint laces. You never know if you were hiking and you got lost, at least you have fire with you always on your shoelaces. These laces are 84 inches long for my big camping shoes. Okay, as you can see, I have here shoelaces, a little bit of extra of them. I can put it behind over here. Boom, beautiful regular shoelaces. If I need to start a fire, all I have to do is just untie the beginning pull off the cover right here. There is quite a bit of sparks actually. Not the most comfortable thing because it's so small, but I think I can do it. You know, if I had a piece of paper, it would be a lot easier. I think one spark will light it up easily. Get it fluffy. Here you go, and it's burning. Boom, easy, yeah. You know what, with this little fire starter, it works the best. You know what guys, in conclusion, I love the idea. Shoelaces flint is amazing because you will always have it. The only problem with those are they are so small it's very uncomfortable to use it. You cannot produce a huge spark. It's a lot of sparks, but not huge ones like you can do with the big striker. So make sure you have some kind of very nice candling. But overall, I give this flint laces a huge thumbs up. And today I'm gonna show you how to tie shoes in two moves. So I'm gonna teach you the fastest way to tie your shoes. So how do you normally tie your shoes? You go like that, under, inside, one knot and second one you make a bore you make another one and you go under and tie it up you see how long it is and how many moves there is so i'm gonna show you how to do this in two moves one tie it up two boom you see how much faster it is grab it like that with this one grab it like that with that one go under under and then 
close it and move it to for the first one and now same thing grab it with this one grab it with this one under under cross it boom that's it completely untied shoes one two boom today i'm going to show you how to tie and untie your shoes the fastest way let's check this out check out this cool shoelaces take all i have to do is just pull it like that and it's tied so i'm gonna put it on you can make it tighter or looser and you see i'm just gonna pull it tight and pull it down like this and boom my shoes is tied together when i want to loosen it up i'm gonna pull it like this boom ready to go if i want to put it back on put it on tighten it pull it down boom so i'm grab my two shoelaces i'll put them like this and then the top shoelace i'm gonna go over and under and then you see i have a loop and then i'm just gonna put it into the loop like this and then i'm gonna make it tight right here to the bottom boom then i'm gonna lift it up to the top right here and then same thing i'm gonna pull this under like that and then over and under make a loop right here put this end into the loop and make it tight boom we are done now i can take off my shoe now i can put it on my shoe and next time i need to tie this up just pull it together like this and pull it down boom and my shoes are tight untie it pull it together pull on that you see they loosened over here now i can take it off for today video i'm going to show you this gadget that you'll never have to tie your shoelaces again let's check this out so i got here shoelaces that it's come with this is stretchy shoelaces so which is good because when we tie it up it's easier to open because they stretch out so i put the shoelaces on as you can see not too much of a difference versus my other shoelaces because they just block much is really good there is three step instruction but there is option a and option b you can either keep this clip on the outside right here or if you don't want to see this one you can put it on the inside let's do it on the outside first so i can show you how it works i'll put it on then i got this clip and put it to here step two i'm gonna put it to the top one right here and tie it up to where you want it and then step three put it to here fold it this way and put it to here between here boom and boom and then the rest you just cut it off somewhere over here and you're done okay normally you would just cut these shoelaces but they say don't cut it put it in here for first couple days and wear it like that so that way you adjust and get used to it for first couple days and then you're comfortable with this little setup so then you cut the shoelaces that's what they recommend anyway and then same thing on this side as well you see this is pulls up right here pulls up you take it off and then to put it on just put it on like this boom and you don't have to worry about tying your shoes because it stays on tied up with this two layer gadget wow this is actually looks really cool but if you don't like that you can just put it same thing on the inside let me demonstrate then you want to make it tight to where it's not too tight and then flip it over this way and put it to this little loop that way it can look like that and you don't have to tie your shoes anymore or you can keep it like that if you're happy with that too i like it both honestly maybe this one a little bit better so open it boom super easy way to take it off you see how this tone stretches out because of the shoelaces are stretchy so super easy to take it off and on tuck lace that's a pretty unique product if you have boots like this i have two pairs of these boots 
and it takes a while to tie your shoes. So this thing supposed to make it really quickly and easy to lace them up. Well, let's see what this thing about. Okay, let's figure it out how to lace them up. Instruction and looks like I just have to lace them up regularly. Okay, I took a minute to figure this out, how it works. So what we're going to do is grab this part first and we're going to put these shoelaces through here. One and two. Then we're going to put it to here and this one to here. And then we're going to put shoelaces under the velcro right here. And the last one right here. And then we're going to put it to here and make a knot on the other side right here. Boom, like this. Boom. So first of all, let me show you how this work. Let's say you put your shoe in and then what you're going to do is grab it and pull on it like this. Boom, all the way. And then you're going to grab this and push it all the way down. So that way they're not going to get loose. And then simply you go around like that and stick it like that. Boom, and your shoelaces are tight and velcro is strong, they're not going to come off. Beautiful. With the regular shoelaces, let's say you put it on on your shoe, what you'll have to do is go make it tight, then go around, then make it tight again, and make a bore. This way you have here support and you don't have excess laces. They sit really tight. Definitely a lot faster to use this one than this one. And also to take him off, it is really easy to take it off. You pull it up all the way up and then make it loose. Boom. Then you can take it off with this one. Pretty much similar. You take it off, you gotta make it loose. And then take it off. Now let's do a little competition. Which one will be easier to put it on and off? First, I'm going to do the tuck laces. You stick on your shoe, then you're going to grab it and pull it. Then push this thing down, flip it around, boom, this shoe is done. Now regular shoelaces, you put your shoe all the way, then you make it tight, then you gotta go around, make sure it stays all tight, then you're going to make a knot, make a ball, boom. What do you guys think? Honestly, it's definitely quite a bit faster to use these shoelaces than this ones. And shoelaces get old all the time. So if you need to buy new shoelaces, I would go with this one to replace your old shoelaces. That way you have really cool shoelaces. Very unique and very cool invention.